good. That's cool. Let me check these ones. Huh, people are actually happier than I thought they would be. People are actually really, really happy. Wow. Okay, so what else do we have? We have um, the space elevator, which costs 16,000 a week. We are making 58,000 a week, so we can put this down quite comfortably, I think. The question is, where do we put this down? I think I should put this down around here and just move some of these roads. Or next to the train station. So this thing brings in tourists. I don't know what that. Don't really understand what that means for our city, though. So maybe uh, put it up here where the. Nope. Okay, we need to move some roads. Let us. Reconsider that by pushing the space elevator right there and then putting the road there. Alright, great. What is that thing? What is that? What is this? What is this? Look at this thing. So this thing apparently attracts a lot of tourists into the city and they spend money. Not sure how that really helps us. But you know, the game says it's good, so I guess it's good. So we've almost built all the, uh, all the monuments, haven't we? Just need to unlock the Eden project which increases the land value for everything pretty much and to do that we need what's going on here is there no recreation do i need more parks we need more parks should i put a park there and just put more parks in yeah have a park Uh, what was I looking at? So we need to unlock... 10,000 squares of office zone built. We are three quarters of the way there. This one... 20,000 commercial zone built. We are... Uh, almost three quarters of the way there. So we need commercial and offices. So basically we just need to expand the city some more. Let me just put in one more park here. Except we do need to wait for the city to grow because there's no demand for anything right now. And we also need to wait for the money to come back. We just built a, a monument and we have no money left. Look at this. How do we feel about the, the design of the city? It's okay. It's okay. It's pretty dense, isn't it? It's pretty dense. There's not much um, open space, as it were. You know, one of the most impressive things in the city is Central Park in New York where there's just like a massive park in the middle of the city. That's kind of cool. We don't have that here. We have a bit of farming, <laughs> which is a bit odd. Maybe I should zone more farms. Doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. And, and we've actually only built maybe... What is that? Four squares, and there's like one, two, three, four, five. We haven't even built out half of the city yet, we've almost unlocked everything. I don't know if I want to keep just growing the city, we can, and just kind of try and fill the entire map with buildings. But once we unlock everything, it doesn't seem to, um, you know, there's nothing new. There's nothing new afterwards, we're just kind of building for the sake of building. 
So I don't know how to, I don't know what to think about that. Whether we should, you know, just continue building it out or not. All right. It looks like there's some creeping demand for commercial. I think I'll put residential up here. Power, water, garbage, health, fire, oh the fire, <laughs> the fire station's not powered yet, that's why there's no fire coverage up there. Fire is pretty good. Police, and then education. And transport. We don't have subways. I don't know if we should bother with subways. I don't know. We seem to be doing just fine. Let me just check the city. Yeah, I don't know if I want subways because they do take up room. Like, if you have to put down subway stations, they're not very big, but they do take up room on the ground. And they're also expensive. Some ways are really, really expensive. And uh, yeah, I just don't know if it provides all that much benefit to our city to have a subway system. Maybe I should join this up. Just cause it's so close, right? Let me just put office there and office there just so that we can power these buildings. Alright, let's see how that goes. Just need people to move in. Just need people to. Wait, what's this? Are these tourists? No, these are. Where are the. Ah, oh, SUV. Passengers serviced last week hundred. Oh, this is oh passengers. They go to space from here. I see. Oh, I see. They actually go to space from here. Maybe I should put like a train track here, or like move it next to a train station because they actually have to go to space. It might make sense to actually put that next to the transport stuff. Maybe that was the wrong place to put it. But there's no room for it here. Ah, uh, This is slightly awkward. You can put it around here. Okay, that's not congested, good. Where else might there be a train station? There's a train station... Well, there's room for train stations down here, possibly. Um... Hmm... I don't know. Let me just uh, keep that there for now. But possibly have a train track come down here. Can I fit a uh, train station here? No, almost, almost. Not quite. Huh, well. I don't know. I mean, we can put a bus line. <laughs> buses are just so easy. Everything else is so complicated, but buses are easy. Alright, bus line it is. Let's put a bus line... Did I just... 
Okay, just added a stop there for no reason. Let me start a bus line and put it. Oh, that's wrong side of the road. Let's start there. Come over here, over here. Stop at the space elevator. And then go there, go there. Um, there. Stop there. And then more bus lines because, oh, that's bridge. And then more bus lines like that. Uh, come across to there, and then down this street, and then somehow twin back up. This is a really, really awkward bus line. But that's okay. Um, and then probably could let's have a massive let's just go a bus create a new line from the airport to the space elevator to the passenger ships back to the space elevator back to the airport uh, not sure if that's a good idea alright great and now there's more demand for stuff, so we are going to, I believe, offices, all of this. Maybe a bit of commercial. Maybe we can do a bit of commercial, especially like around the uh, the space elevator. Put a bit of commercial around there, like that, and that fills up all of Riverside, right? And then the next thing we want to do is, is this part, which if we go, let's see, it's good coverage. If we go that there, and there, then fire and police. And don't need schools and then parks. Just put in a whole bunch of parks two three four. And that's not really as filled in as we like, so we're gonna do that stuff there. Ah, uh, oh, commercial demand's gone again. Well, let's go with commercial. Commercial around the edge. 
there like that. And we'll just join that up with power, hopefully. Hopefully, at some point, join that up. Still no demand for residential yet. Because like when the when the buildings level up, it takes a while for them to fill in, right? So you see 9 out of 10 households here, 8 out of 10 households. So they're not like 21 out of 20, 25 households. Like, you know, the, the even though the residential buildings are actually all built up, they're not full, like they're not filled with people, and therefore there's actually still room for more people to move in. So until that happens, we don't really need to worry too much about building more residential areas. Great. And we literally just wait, just wait for the city to grow. We might be at the point where things start to become less interesting because we're, we're almost done. I think we'll just do I think I'll just do that. I'll just get the final two, build them, build the, uh, the Eden project, and we'll call that playthrough finished because we unlocked everything. I think I'll do that. Even though, as I said, we, we haven't even... Like, we've only kind of covered half the city area that we can. I don't see that to be any more interesting than what we're doing now. There are other things I want to try out, though, because... You know, this playthrough of this particular city, this, um, Simonopolis... Simonopolis, like, this is like a, a normal playthrough of the game, right? Wait a minute, why can't I... I already have one, never mind. So Simonopolis is like, it's it's a normal playthrough of the game. There are other things I want to try. For example, what happens if instead of using highways to link up different neighborhoods, what if I have trains? You know, like have kind of isolated neighborhoods of roads and then have trains between them. So, it, I mean, I just want to try it out, like if that works. Would people be able to travel using trains instead of using cars on highways, for example? Or... What else can we try out? We, we can maybe try out some of the... Um, some of the urban design concepts that we have in history. For example, like the Garden City. Laying things out as a beautiful garden. Or we might have the... Uh, maybe like an old medieval city where... Where all the streets are narrow. And there's, so we're trying to minimize cars as much as possible because everything is um, compact. So there's a lot of things we might try out, or like you know have everything low density if that's good, or like a like a mixed mixed zones everywhere. So instead of having like, because if we look at the zones now, it's kind of patches like the like there's a large patch of residential and then there's like a large patch of industrial and then there's like a large patch of residential, a large patch of offices or offices and commercial. So there's kind of big patches of stuff. What if instead of having like big patches of segregated zoning we zone everything mixed so that we have like one residential building next to a commercial building next to an office maybe not factories because factories create pollution right but maybe just kind of mix everything up and see if that actually improves things or not with the way the city work with the way the mechanics work in this game it might improve things i don't know but like the reason you have kind of mixed use zones is just that the idea is that you reduce traffic. Because if people can live close to where they work, like like if for example, there's an apartment building right next to an office building. Conceivably the people who work at that office can live at that apartment building and they don't have to travel to go to work. Like they wake up in the morning, they walk next door, and they go to work. And then they, they walk back and they come home and they sleep and there's no commute. You don't have to spend hours traveling from one side of the city to another, to, to the other to go to work. Conceivably, that can happen, but I, I'm guessing people would still travel because, like, you know, just because there's an office building next door doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to work there. You might live somewhere and still work on the other side of the city. I mean, so we might try that, like a, a mixed-use sort of a city. So there's a lot of experiments that I, I want to try out. 
using this game engine. But these are all things that are not, they're not this game. Like, there'll be things that I want to try out in other games. Um, so that might be, might be interesting, but again, that's not going to be this playthrough. And that might take, like, a long time to, uh, to do. So that's something to, uh, to, to consider if you guys are interested. What is happening? Hmm. Okay, that, that's fine. That looks good. There's people using... Oh, because of the, uh, the port. 